Hey there everybody, my name's Kragen and today I'm going to be showing off my Lego haunted house. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the normal way it comes but I've added quite a few extra minifigs and a couple of extra items and whatnot so I thought I would give you a quick little tour. So yeah, starting outside at the front here we've got a little bush that comes with the, the set. We've got the Scotsman which was in a minifig blind bag. We have got Egon which was from the Ghostbusters uh, Ecto car set. We've also got a little snake poking through the, the grates just there. We've got the Brains newspaper from the zombie businessman monsters minifig. Um, we've got a little pumpkin back there which was from the Thanksgiving, I forget what they're called again, uh, Vinjet I think it's cried. Then we've got Lurch which I gave a key which was from the Harry Potter, one of the Harry Potter sets. Uh, we've got a, a mouse or a rat there, it's a grey one. Then we've got the Trick or Treater which is also a Monsters minifig blind bag set. And then we've got Harry and one of these papers. Can't quite remember what set that Harry Potter came out of, but because I did get a few of them. But anyway, moving on to the setting floor balcony here, we've got Shaggy and Scooby chilling out. Uh, obviously, that came with the Mystery Machine set. We've got a few spiders clipped onto the, the railings here. Put a little potion on the balcony and a little skull up there as well. And obviously you've just got all your boarded up windows and everything. Then moving on to the roof, sort of, I don't know what you'd call this, the gutters probably. But I strapped my ghosts onto the windows here so it looks like they're flying. We've got a few more spiders and uh, the shutters and whatnot. And then we've also got the Fly Man from the Minifigures Blind Bag series. So I thought I would add him to the side to make it look like he was flying around as well. And then if we move up to the roof, we have... Well, we'll start off with this guy. He's a... Uh, I can't remember what his actual title is, but he looks like some sort of ghoul. He's also from the Monsters Minifig Blind Bag series. He's got a cool uh, translucent sort of leg piece makes them look more ghostly and then up top here we've got uh, just a bunch of owls from the Harry Potter sets uh, I shoved the vampire bat up there as well and then at the back I've just got a bunch of TIE fighter pilots uh, one of the Sith generals a Sith corporal one of the Sith droids at the back of Fred there and then also we've got Fred from the Mystery Machine set as well, so that pretty much covers the outside. I mean, I'll give you a 360 view if I can get it to focus in here. So there's the front, and it's all entire. Uh, got the chimney side, which I didn't really do too much to. You've got the back side, which is pretty plain. And you have the side entrance door, which I didn't really do anything to either. Mainly because the way I've got this displayed, you only really see it from the front, so I thought I'd add all the features to that side. So yeah, opening the, the house up, we have a bunch more minifigures in here. Uh, that's all I've really added to the inside of this. I threw a few extra bits and pieces in as well, but... So we've got a suit of armour as you come in the front entrance, also greeted by our three zombies. The zombie businessman on the left, the zombie from the Scooby Doose mystery machine set, and the zombie cheerleader on the right hand side. And if we go up the stairs we have the mad scientist working on his monsters I guess you can say there. We've got the Yeti and the Bigfoot. And if we go up to the attic side, we do have the Spider Queen. And that is the driver from the three-story bus from the Harry Potter set. I just thought I would throw him in there because he was quite a cool 
well character. And I don't think I've got anything extra in these. I think I've got a few like daggers and stuff that I've thrown in there that have came out of the other sets. Uh, so if we go down to this side, I've got another Scotsman, obviously because I'm Scottish, so we've got to represent the Scotsman. We've got the zombie chef, uh, he's cooking everyone's dinner. And up here I made it so it kind of looks like uh, Frankenstein over there is jamming out and he's uh, obviously Dracula and Dracula's wife are hating it. Don't know if you could tell there, but it's a cool little scene. And then on this side of the attic I've just kind of stored up some stuff. I've got books back there, glasses, uh, some extra bits and bobs in the box there. So yeah, that pretty much sums up my haunted house. There's a bit of a focused view of the inside. So yeah guys, uh, if you liked the video, just leave a wee thumbs up. If you'd like to see one of my other builds, I've got the Quickie Mart and the Simpsons house, just leave a wee comment. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.